Ask the A-Ball is brought to you by Bebop's, home of the best burger and fries since 1988. Also, by Lola's Fine Hot Sauce, available online at lolasfinehotsauce.com. Hi, I'm Quinn, and I'm listening to my daddy and Cody. <laughs> I salute. Salute. Cheers. Chin chin, kids. Thanks, Willie. All right. All right. It's all great. Right. Okay. Tickets confirmed. Hey, thanks for supporting local, Cody. We appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, we do. I'm glad you had to wait for me to buy tickets for you to decide yeah. I want to go see my good pal, Willie. Yeah. I w- Fuck you. <laughs> I was going to buy them anyways. You know that. I was waiting to see what... I was going to buy them for you. Claudia, do we have any free tickets to see Willie? <laughs> <laughs> I'll check. We'll find out. I mean... <laughs> oh, we're at bottom now. Yeah. Hey, uh, what's up, Cody? Not much, man. What's up with you? Oh, not a lot. What's uh, what's new? I don't know, man. Let's ask the eight wall. Welcome, Welcome back, guys. Season four, episode ten. We've got uh, a new, well, not a new. We got an old guest, but a uh, fan favorite. New to season four. New to yeah, season four. New yeah. to season. There you go. There you go. All right. There you go. Let's go with that. Yeah. This is uh, the world well, famous, at least the south side of Des Moines famous. I I might be your oldest. Guest. Now that I think about it, uh, do you have anybody older? Uh, how old's Ed? Yeah, I'm your oldest guest. Yeah, Ed's only sixty. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So there you go. Willie, thanks for being on the show again. Yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, of course, Cla- my daughter keeps uh, count of the numbers, and she says she's still ahead of me as far as uh, views. So. <laughs> Is that but true? But not combined. So, oh, okay. Then so I yeah, win. Yeah, you, you, go, yeah. yeah, you combine more views. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but th- th- I'll spend extra money on the ad for this one just to boost you ahead of her. Thank you, bragging rights. <laughs> thank you, thank you. No, we no, are, thank, uh, thank Bebops. <laughs> I love thank Bebops. Bebops. <laughs> coming thank from you. a uh, brand new location, well, to us yep. at least. Yeah, yeah. So we are coming up, uh, like, all right, planning guest out, and I saw I was like, Willie's going to be at the Funny Bone for Thanksgiving. Yeah, instead of Christmas time, usually I do Christmas, but uh, it falls on a weird date. So there won't be any Christmas show, so they decided to bring me in Thanksgiving. Because Christmas Eve's a Friday this year. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, so yeah. We're, uh, it's like, let's get Willie on. Let's pump up the, yes. the Thanksgiving show. From yeah. Over, you With know? Uh, Johnny Bush is going to be my uh, uh, Opener? Uh, Opener? feature act. And oh, nice. uh, then uh, I got two different MCs coming in. Okay. And uh, uh, Mark Van Harn. You know Mark Van, Van Harn? It's a local guy. Sounds really familiar. And Jack Lewis might be doing a, a oh, MC nice. on a Friday night. Yeah. Jack Lewis Love Bones Jack. Shows. Yeah. Hilarious guy. So, yeah. Jack is so, awesome. There you go. Jack, Jack Lewis Friday, Mark on Saturday. Okay. Okay. And Johnny Bush all week with me. Or nice. Friday and Saturday. J- Love it. Johnny Love and it. his wife, Barbie. Mm-hmm. The, uh, Barbara Bush. the West Des Moines Funny Bone. Is yes. Right? The 27th. This is, yeah, this is, this is a great room. Great room. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I remember coming to Funny Bone when it was uh, off 86 and Hickory. Yes, yes. You, you, I don't think you lived here then. No. Probably. I, don't know, so. I think this has been here for 15 years. I've, yeah. It's been yeah. here as long as I've been here. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I, I really don't even know how long that, that is. It has been here. But I remember Paul Lane uh, was uh, took over. The, Mark Johnson was uh, the manager and owned it um, when it first came to Des Moines, which was, I think, late 80s, early 90s. Then Paul Lane took it over after that, and then Paul built this club. And after Paul passed, his uh, wife, uh, Alicia, and daughter, and uh, her daughter, uh, Jesse, run it now. Okay. Yeah. And they do a great job, man. Yeah, great job. Fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic job. I, I think my first time ever coming to an actual stand-up show was here. Oh, was it really? Yeah. 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 And my first time yeah. was at the old Funny Bone. But yeah. yeah. So funny well, yeah. you know, it's so funny. Uh, you guys, I'm, I'm going to have a Christmas party when you come, and you guys will see in my house. At the old Funny Bone, uh, there was a, a comedy troupe called the Untamed Shrews. You ever, do you remember them? Uh, yes. Yeah. All right. Uh, one they of the still travel sometimes. Yeah, yeah. One of one of the one of the ladies in it, uh, Marge Takas, very funny, funny lady. Uh, she was a painter. She uh, did. I was an artist, and she painted these giant murals for all the old Funny Bone. So, on the walls at the old Funny Bone, you had. And it was funny because people would walk around and go, "Oh, there's David Letterman, and there's Robin Williams, and there's Jerry Seinfeld, and there's uh, Richard Pryor, and then they're in. And nope. they, who's and it, there was one of me. <laughs> I was the only local that they put up. Okay. So it's funny because you watch people. I would sit in the back of the room and watch people point out all the people. Yeah. And then they come to me and they have no idea. They think I was Billy Crystal. Or something. <laughs> so anyway, uh, see Billy Crystal. The, <laughs> the last show, happen. the last show I did there, I closed up the room. Uh, I got after I got done, I went over and grabbed it and pulled it off the wall on my head and walked it out. And uh, I, for years, I had it in my garage at home. And we remodeled my house, and my wife actually put it up in our living room. Oh, nice. It's, nice. And it's like four by eight feet. It's gigantic. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's, it's sitting when there. When you're not around, you're doing things like this, she can still look at your pretty face. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's so funny because it was in our garage for years, just sitting in the garage. And when Claudia was little and I was coaching her in softball and, you know, trying to get her to get better, 
Uh, I can remember times I'd say, go practice, and I could hear thud, thud, and I go in the garage, and she's throwing softballs at my, my <laughs> hey, painting. Hey, so it's all dented up. So. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, see, I remember the first time I went to the Funny Bone. Well, actually, it wasn't the first. It was the second time I went. Me and my buddy, uh, Sean, back in, uh, I think we were just fresh out of high school, because you had to be like 19 to get yeah, Funny Bone. Right, so, right. yeah, we weren't too much out. We went, uh, I'm pretty sure it was D.L. Hewley we saw there. Yeah, yeah. And we were the only two white kids in the crowd. <laughs> <laughs> and he just points at us. He's like, Oh, these two white boys in the wrong place. Yeah. And they just like roasted on us for so, for like 15 minutes. He yeah. just shit on us. And so, it, was, yeah. it was fantastic. Mm-hmm. Is that why you never let us sit in the front row when Willie's up here? No, no I don't let us sit in the front row because we like to get drunk before the show. And then we don't show up till yeah. 7.05 and the show starts at 7. Plus, the whole show can't be about you, Cody, because that's what I would do. I would torture. <laughs> the, the old Funny Bone had, uh, and, and they do it here too, but uh, I can remember back in the days, uh, uh, Sam Kinison. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, yeah, uh, Louis An- Louis that. Anderson. I mean, they they got some you know some people big 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 names. Yeah, I remember so- I remember um, back before they were uh, 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 what do you call it? Uh, uh, Jeff Foxworthy, Ron White, oh, the, the uh, 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 Rednecks. Yeah, comedy. Uh, 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 no, Blue Bill Bill Blue Ingvall, comedy. Bill Blue Ingvall comedy. Uh, and um, and DL. Uh, no, no, Bill Bill Ingvall and uh, um, Larry the Cable Guy. Yeah. yeah, and they all would come in as individual acts back then. Okay. Matter of fact, Larry the Cable Guy, when he 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 used to come to Des Moines, his name was Dan Whitney, and Larry the Cable Guy was just one of the characters he did on stage. Yeah, mm-hmm. I've heard about how he yeah. did that. And uh, and those guys were, I mean, they, they would come and they'd stop in all the time. It was kind of it was fun. Yeah. So you've been doing comedy for a long time. Yeah, I the eighties. I assume that you kind of you know, had to open for people and stuff like that. You, were, yeah. you weren't always the headliner, right? Yeah, right. You, uh, you know what? I but it was what kind of weird. I, I wasn't always headliner, and uh, I used to open for really big acts, but uh, like open for Kinnison and uh, David Brenner and people like that. But uh, it was weird because when I was coming up, I mean, comedy was like that. That was the first real boom, and at the time there were so many rooms that I mean, you could headline right. I mean, if you had the time. Or thought you had the time. Yeah. So I, I literally was, I mean, I was headlining like right off the bat, which was really, I got my, I, I cut my chops at the Spaghetti Works in Des Moines. Mm. Yep. And I used to MC there. And, uh, but the problem was, you know, you only had a, a limited amount of crowds. It wasn't like Vegas that you get a different crowd all the time. Right. So you got the same people all the time. So after a while I got to where I, I, I got to start coming up with some other stuff. For these same people that showed up this, four the, weeks in a row. Yeah, yeah. They hear the same material every So, time. yeah, yeah, so I, it forced you to write, and it forced me to learn how to ad-lib on stage. And, yeah, but, uh, yeah, I, 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 did head, I, I did MC for a lot of great acts that would come up. Do you have any favorite comedian you opened for or favorite story of one of the comedians? Uh, uh, back, uh, back a long time ago, I remember Mark Johnson had me uh, work a room in Marshalltown. I don't know if they told you the story. And uh, he says, you go there, and, and it called Archie's was the name of the room. The guy that owned it was Archie. I think he was a... Midget or person, <laughs> you know, call midget. Which you prefer, Cody? Little, little, <laughs> I was gonna say we get offended by that term. Little, little fucker. And uh, anyway, uh, uh, I was so he says uh, we got an opening act, so you just go. And uh, you know, so I got there late, and the guy was already on stage. And uh, I remember walking in, just dead silence. Hmm. He's eating it, and I'm watching him, and I'm, I've never laughed harder in my life. And the guy comes off stage, and it was uh, it was Mitch Hedberg. Oh, oh, okay, awesome. And I remember just looking at him, going, "Oh my God, you're." You know, you, you, could, you could see, you know, Brilliant. genius when you yeah. see it. I was like, oh, my God. And he, and he, he kind of even, I mean, he knew how good he was. And he was just kind of like, eh, not my crowd, you know. But, uh, yeah, that, so that was, that was kind of fun. Mitch Hedberg mm-hmm. opened for me. That's, uh, so, yeah, I'll take that. That's, yeah, that was yeah. one of the greats. Yeah. Very taken too soon. Yeah. Yes. I love. Well, yeah, you know, it's funny. You, you, see, you see guys like him. Yeah, well, I mean, it's like a Bellucci, it's like a, a Chris Farley, it's like yep. Hedberg and uh, 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 Greg. Uh, Greg Geraldo. Yeah, I mean, you, those guys. I mean, I, I didn't know them, mm-hmm. but you, you you heard the you heard the reputations of the guys yeah. that just partied really really hard. Yeah. Yeah. So They're uh, no that one rock star lifestyle. Yeah. yeah. Now the now the I, I would say the Keith Richards of that bunch is probably Doug Stanhope. <laughs> uh, how he still, because from what I've from what I've heard and from what he even says on stage, I mean, Do you know he hits it hard. I don't know if I do. He, oh, that's, he's he's super funny. Yeah, he's he's, old, he's 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 brilliant. Yeah, I want to say he's like he doesn't seem like an older guy, but he's been around for a long. Yeah, time. I mean, yeah, he's got to be in his mid fifties. Yeah, uh, but uh, uh, go uh, Google him. Uh, listen to some of his stuff. It's okay. brilliant. He's got brilliant Dan stuff. Got it. Doug Stanhope. Doug Stanhope. Are, Doug Stanhope. A, okay. are you a fan of uh, Jeffrey Ross? Mm-hmm. So he opened, met him a couple times. He opened up for Chappelle. Yeah, I didn't yeah. know he was gonna be there, so I was pleasantly surprised. Yeah, um, that was when he came up. I was so yeah. excited about that. And Cody had asked me this while we just grabbed a drink before we came over yeah. here. He asked me, he's like, "Who do you think is better uh, roasting the crowd mm-hmm. and working room, Willie or Jeff Ross?" 
I'd give it to Jeff Ross. No, oh, I said, and I said Jeff Ross. To be fair, yeah. I said, but yeah. that's because he's a lot meaner than Willie. Yeah, yeah, he's a lot meaner than me. And I mean, and and I mean, uh, I mean that that's his that's his jam. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I, 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 I literally, yeah, I literally try to come up and I mean, I, I try to work my act some of the time. But you know, I do play with the crowd. But I, yeah, the thing is, I'm I, I don't have a cruel bone in my body, and uh, and you you listen to Ross on on those. Uh, those roasts. Oh. And, I mean, and, and he's brilliant, but I mean, on, on the other hand, understand that those roasts, uh, you know, there's there's 50 guys writing for those. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. yeah but I mean, some job. of that stuff is brilliant. I mean, and I love listening to him because, for the mere fact that uh, it, it takes all that uh, all that PC cancel culture and yeah. throws it right out the window. Yeah, they they, they, they don't care at all. Nothing no. is sacred. No. I mean, when they used to go after Pete Davidson, you know, oh, his yeah. dad. Oh, I mean, my, yeah, the oh, one, yeah. The one joke he had, he said, he said, uh, Snoop Dogg's here. He's like the only man who's inhaled more smoke than Snoop Dogg on the stage is Pete Davidson's dad. Yeah. <laughs> Pete Davidson, like, oh, what is? <laughs> Pete Davidson was one of the roasts. I remember he, he said more about being more ashy than Pete Davidson's yeah. dad too. Yeah. Like, Pete Davidson comes and said uh, Snoop Dogg and uh, I forget who else was ludicrous, ludicrous or something. Yeah. He says, "Boy, if I was 38, I would really be excited." <laughs> Those are, yeah. I, watched, yeah, I actually are watched one earlier. Uh, it was on TikTok. Somebody was putting the best uh, yeah. Pete Davidson roast. Yeah, and they had him roasting Ann Coulter. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah. Man. I, they went out. You know, you, it, doesn't it make you wonder sometimes? Is I mean, see, that's another reason I, I couldn't do the roast because number one, I don't think I could be that cruel. Number two, I don't think I could take a bunch of the shit that they're giving out. You know what I mean? Yeah. And it's so weird that uh, someone would actually. You gotta know. You gotta know how bad they're gonna dig everything you got. Oh yeah. So when you go on there, you gotta know that w whatever skeleton you got in the closet, whatever thing you're embarrassed of, they're gonna dig it up and they're gonna trash it. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. So. I've been I've been officially roasted. Was, yeah, we yeah. we surprised yeah. Cody. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah I, but you see, I mean, but I, I I'm like a nice roaster. I'm not going to go after something, you know, uh, yeah, really, the, really horrible. Yeah. Some of the jokes we had on Cody was pretty bad. Yeah, uh, like, like Erica's. <laughs> yeah, I don't remember what she's. She well, just she's, sang "Happy Birthday" really bad. Yeah, that was a good. One. We should do a roast of somebody again. Yeah. But this was a surprise roast for Cody. He didn't know yeah. he was being roasted. Yeah, it's a birthday. Yeah. I felt hated. I mean, loved. And you're so. welcome. <laughs> you're very welcome. So Willie, you got um, you're open, you're back in Vegas now. Yep, yep. Everything's kind yep. of opening up a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, well, you know, it, it, it's open, but they, I mean, they still have the they had the mask mandate last yeah. time I was out there, and it's just and it's yeah. the stupidest fucking thing in the world. Uh, we, me and my wife, we like to gamble, and uh, we played different games and stuff. And the, so the mask mandate is, uh, if you're sitting down, as long as you're not if you're not drinking or eating or yeah. smoking, you, you have to wear a mask. Oh. There was a guy pl sitting at a table next to us that all he did was keep a cigar in his mouth. Just yeah. kept it in his mouth. Yeah. <clears throat> and, that's a good idea to ask next time. Well, I mean, how, how fucking stupid is that? I mean, I, I, know, I, I agree. mean, that's. <laughs> yeah. I was out there the week before you, but yeah. he was out there with you for your show. Yeah. Yeah, when we went out there, uh, so. We left your show. I was staying at the Flamingo. We yeah. go back to Flamingo, and my girlfriend and her mom yeah. are literally sitting at the bar mm -hmm. six feet behind me, and I'm playing blackjack. Yeah. It's like 2 in the morning. They're totally fine. They can sit. No mask. Do yeah. whatever. I'm playing blackjack, so I had to stay covered all the time. Yeah. I took it down the sip, and if I left it down too long, the dealer would not deal the cards. Yeah, it, I'm like, stupidest, the it, it's the stupidest. It's the stupidest. And I was the only person gambling. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm like, ah, whatever. Yeah. I got. I was and like, you know, it's, it's and, the rule. I get and, it. You know, so I and, it, it, up. and it trickles yeah. down. I mean, you can't get mad at him. I know that's coming like, from his job. Yeah, I, was, I wasn't. Job, I wasn't yeah. mad. I was like, it's the rule. But I just look back. I'm like, God, they're just sitting let's, there and just free. Let's go back to that time uh, when when uh, Cody. I want to know exactly your feelings <laughs> when you saw Eric on stage. <laughs> so it was the greatest roost of all let, time. Let the people know be, what happened. Be honest with me. Uh huh. Did he actually get up and tell jokes in front of a crowd? Yes. How many people? Uh. The, the hundreds. <laughs> so full of shit. Hundreds of thousands. You're so full of shit. I don't believe this for a minute. <laughs> when you saw it, let me. What was the first thing? After so you, after quick, you stopped crying. Quick backstory what? for those who don't know. <laughs> yeah. I was in Vegas. Willie was out there. I went to a show. I was supposed to be out there then too. Yep. But I had to change a bit. Of Willie let me come up on stage. No. We got pictures of me on stage with yeah. the microphone. Maybe I told jokes. Maybe I didn't. I don't know. Yeah. Either way, I posted on Instagram. I said. Thank you, Willie, for for bringing me on stage. Yeah. All I said. My oh, man. sure words have spoken. Oh man, <laughs> there are some so many people are like, oh, I'm so happy for you, man. Yeah. You're blowing up in Vegas, and some other people are like, fuck you, man. <laughs> <I> was, <laughs> meanwhile, <laughs> little Cody, I could see him in his bed under a tent with a light flashlight, <laughs> looking at it, slowly sobbing. Oh, I, I instantly sent it to him. He's like, I know, I, I, if I could scroll back that far on my phone, he's. I think he was just like, are you fucking serious? He's like, dude, oh, I'm so fucking jealous right now. Uh, I 
<laughs> didn't believe he, I jealousy got up there and did it. I don't yeah. believe he actually told jokes. I okay. still don't believe it. You guys can say all you want. I don't believe he did it. What, but all I, I know jealous. is I this, Cody. Moved, I have moved one item down from bucket list and one item up to open for Willie Farrell. Okay. At, we'll get that done. Cody, all I can tell you is this. Or at Vegas, mm -hmm. I don't care what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So that if you weren't there, then we can't you tell you You know, that happened. is the rule. Except HIV. <laughs> well, that yeah, well, that's magic. <laughs> Yeah. Well, with that being said, let's roll real quick to our fake sponsor. Let's come back with more yeah. Willie. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'll be right back here at the Funny Bone. Hello there. My name is Morton St. Applebee's, and I have just launched a terrific website called rentapickle.com. At rentapickle.com, you can rent the biggest jaw of the world's juiciest pickles for your heart to enjoy. You can return the jaw at any time for even more pickles. Here's a testimonial from one of our customers. Um, yeah, the website was oh, different than what I was expecting. But yeah, it seems pretty cool if you're into that kind of uh, stuff. It sucks when you want pickles from around the world, but you can't find one. Which is why you also can sign up for the Dill International Club, or Dick for short. There you can find pickles from all over the world, of all nationalities. And if you sign up today, you also get a 30-day free trial of the Sausage Fest Club. So what are you waiting for? Sign up for rentapickle.com today. It's so funny. Uh, I mean, like some of the stuff, they're so spot on. It's like when, uh, when the big thing was everybody was believing about the, the, uh, the psychics that could tell you about the, uh, life afterwards. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And little Stan was trying to tell people how it's phony. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The more you tried to explain it, the more people thought he was. Yeah. It was, it was, it was, <laughs> and it was they, brilliant. They the ship come down. He's a yeah. giant douche of the yeah. universe. <laughs> you know, I would love to. Wouldn't it be interesting to just go watch how they create an episode? Oh, yeah. I'd like to the see the right. Yeah. Sit in the writing room and watch the people that the, the real the real minds behind it. Or actually yeah. see the ideas that get rejected. Yeah, oh yeah. Because some of the shit's so bad, you're just like, how did that get on TV? Yeah. I want to see what they said. Ah, this is too much. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was yeah, I was yeah. saying, I think this the other day, like, to sit, how does it work if you're like writing for a sitcom? Because you have 13, 14 people probably per sitcom. Oh, yeah, sure. I've got, some, I've got some friends that write for sitcoms. So, yeah. how, I guess I, from I what I gathered, they all, they all kind of have a, an idea of where the show's going to go. And they all yeah. kind of write their own. Yeah. Plot episode. for it, and then they take different pieces from each, and mm. then they kind of, and then once they narrow down to these, then they rewrite and rewrite and rewrite. Yeah. So they're rewriting each episode hundred times, yeah. yeah, just to get everything down. Yeah. So, like, yeah, so I was like, yeah, they call it come in at one time. They That's why there's shows ideas. like The Office, where it's just like there's a there's just a kind of a script you go by, and then mm -hmm. everything else is just very ad lib. Well, it's like a uh, curb. They, yeah, uh, curb Larry Larry's great basically show. said that yeah, they they have an idea, and then <laughs> and then they just let which see I, like I, I I'm not an actor, I don't know how to act, but. I would love to do a show like that because I think that would that would suit me perfectly. Just give me a, a way to go, and yeah. I think I, I could I could do that. I haven't started watching a new season yet. Of the Curb. Have you watched yeah. Curb? I've yeah. watched a couple of episodes. I've watched tons. So of the oh, last, the, the, so he was gone off the air for like ten years, yeah. and then he came back. And the last two That's seasons thought, he yeah. did okay. were so. Fun. He had a whole episode where he. I mean, he's just an asshole. Yeah, yeah. Being an ass episode where everyone keeps calling him an asshole, and he yeah. finally just went around telling everyone he had Aspergers, <laughs> so he could get away with being an asshole. It I was did, the funniest shit. I, I don't know if I've said what I've heard about. I that. got Aspergers. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. He's, he's, got he's, this, he's got this black guy that lives with him, and that's uh, that's uh, what's his name? Uh, oh, what is his Smooth? Um, uh, JB Smooth. JB Smooth. Yeah, he lives with him. Yeah, he's so funny. Yeah, uh, he just motherfucker. That's all he always said, motherfucker Larry. <laughs> Let me tell you, motherfucker Larry. He's got, his newest <laughs> thing was he said, "I'm gonna make." Uh, uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a thing where you can put uh, uh, Vi uh, uh, Viagra in water. You put the pills in water. And you drink that. You want to call it? Uh, uh, it's going to be called tap water. <laughs> yeah. Tap that. Tap that motherfucking ass, Larry. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking That's great. That's funny. Show. That's great. Uh, uh, he's the writer for Seinfeld, right? He's the creator of Seinfeld. Creator, Seinfeld. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's funny if you go back and watch the old episodes, you can actually see. Okay, this was more Larry David than it was Seinfeld. Yeah, yeah. without a doubt. Yeah, because honestly, I don't <clears> think <throat> Seinfeld's that funny. No, no. and it's my absolute favorite show of all time. Yeah. But him, like his stand-up, I'm just like, no. Nah. I've watched, man. Nah. I watched a couple of things. I mean, he's funnier than me, but and the one special where he's like touring with the with the one guy and yeah. it, it just wasn't. Well, here the, 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 I think the problem is as you get older in time and you start to look back, it, it kind of loses it because so much has been built onto comedy. I mean, I grew up. Seinfeld was amazing because he was so scripted, the writing was so brilliant. And mm -hmm. matter of fact, when he would say when he would write a joke, I mean, he would spend hours editing taking out a the or a uh or a, you know what I mean? Yeah. Just to get, 
And now, so as you guys have grown up in the comedy, it's become so freeform and so, you know, Chappelle, where, you know, back in the day when I first started, it was like you take the microphone and you get up there and you move the stand over here and you stand like this and you put your hands and you do the thing and, you know, and you set up, set up, punchline, set up, set up. And that was, I mean, there was like a formula. Yeah. And now, you know, now it's, you know, we've learned that funny's funny is yeah. funny. Yeah. You know. Yeah. I mean, look at Chappelle never stands up straight the entire time he does a show. <laughs> he was he's, on he's stage his foot. smoking a cigarette. There the used to be a comic. Yeah, put put well, up on the speaker. She's yeah. still around. She's still uh -huh. around. Matter of fact, she comes to Des Moines all the time. Uh, and uh, people used to make fun of her as Paula Poundstone. Yep, and I remember. Paula, she used to be on the Gary Shandling yeah, show all the time. Paula, you would, I mean, she's a, she's a lesbian, but uh, uh, that has nothing to do with anything. But while she would talk, she would talk and she'd get really comfortable. And after a while, like, she would lay... Like she she get a bench like this and she would just be laying on it and <laughs> telling her jokes. But you know, and, and at first people were like, "No, you can't do that. That's not stand up comedy." Yeah. You gotta, yeah, but we've up. learned we've learned you can do anything. Have you yeah. been seeing Dante Powell? Oh yeah, his stuff. He's, he's in the middle of the crowd. Yeah, with the mic, the cord, all is doing yeah. comedy, which I think is, is absolutely that, well, brilliant. Well, you, yeah, you got you hell. gotta uh, change it up a little bit. Make yourself stand because I mean, anyone can just. Not anyone can do it, but like I mean, any stand-up comedian can just stand right here and yeah. tell a joke. I, I think what it has to do with it has to do with what what makes you comfortable to make you funny. What what you know you got to get to you got to get to a point inside of you that you're comfortable enough to do. So if it you know if you're on stage and you're trying to do your jokes and try to do your act, but or you're conscious of you know, I can move the mic over. I gotta, if that's on your mind, then you're not you're not giving yourself your whole. So you just got to say, okay, I'm up here talking. What makes me comfortable? That that yeah. definitely makes sense. That's one of the things that yeah. I've when I've done yeah. shows and open mics that I'm like I gotta make sure I hold the mic for I gotta make sure I'm doing this like no all, all you gotta be sure of is more. that you're funny that's that's all that that's yeah. all that counts you're I mean yeah. and hold the mics people you don't want to hold the mic down here. oh my yeah. god I used to back in the day I would work a show I remember there was a, a, a booking guy out of uh, Louisville and uh, his m major thing was like when we do shows uh, if you were emceeing and you introduced. You had to wait till the other guy came up to shake his hand to walk off stage. It was very, and if you, if you didn't meet him at a certain point, this guy would say, you, you know, you've got to wait. And, and I remember one time I was working, there was a black comic, I forget who it was. And uh, after the show, he went and says, no, well, you needed to. And, and I remember the black comic went, fuck you, motherfucker. Like, <laughs> and I looked and I went, you know, you know what? And I thought to myself, yeah, yeah fuck you. I, that, what's that got to do with right. anything? So Nice. Well, uh. Second part of the show. Let's roll into the Blitz. You remember the Blitz? I remember the Blitz. All right, time for the Blitz. Hot, hot, hot! It's, it's a Blitz. It's, it's a Blitz. It's, it's a Blitz. Yeah, it's a Blitz. Let's go! I'm going to ask you. Uh, I got six questions this week. I'm going to ask you. Don't ask Cody. We'll compare answers. Sure. Do, do we forget to thank our thank sponsor? Oh, thanks to the thank sponsor. <laughs> well, we can start rolling, so do yeah, it. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Question one. Is chili a soup? No. Okay. What is it then? Well, that, chill, that, chill. we'll get into it. <laughs> All right. Let's wrap it up. Right, okay. Yeah, enough. we'll get into it. Uh, question two: What's a food you hate but everyone loves? Uh, um, um, candy sweet potatoes. Okay. Mm. Question three: Name Tom Hanks's three best movies. Ooh. Uh, let's see. Uh, the one where he's uh, uh, uh with the the, the the beach ball. Castaway. Uh, Forrest Gump. Okay. Um, I'd say big or Philadelphia. I'd, I'll, I'll say big. Big. Okay. Uh, according to Urban Dictionary, what is arm barn? Arm barn is the bullpen. According to Urban Dictionary, arm barn's bullpen. Well, that's what they're trying to change it into. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Question five: Who is the worst member of the Rat Pack? The worst member. Okay, there's you know now it's not it's more than three guys. Yeah, no. All right, uh, I P, I, I, I'd say Peter Lawford. Okay. And the last question: Who is the best clown, Bozo, Krusty, or Ronald McDonald? I would have said Emmett Kelly, but uh, <laughs> Bozo, Ron, oh, was it Ronald McDonald or Krusty the clown? Oh, Krusty's the best. Krusty, okay. Yeah. That's your that's your blitz. That was yeah. fast, Cody. That was, that was yeah. fast, Thanks, Cody. Man. I got to time this one. All Cody, right. question one. <laughs> Is chili a soup? Uh, yes. Question two. A food you hate, but everyone loves. Ranch. <laughs> it's fair. <laughs> Question three. Name Tom Hanks' three best movies. Uh, Forrest Gump, Castaway, and Sully. Okay. Question four. According to Urban Dictionary, 
What is arm barn? It's when a guy puts his arm around a fat girl. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. Question five. <laughs> worst canceled. member of the Rat Pack. And I you can base know, it off the three that you know. I didn't know there was uh, more than three. I only knew. So. I only knew four. Was there more than four? Peter Lawford. There's Joey Bishop. I don't see. I don't even. Johnny Peter Carson could uh, could actually be considered part of the Rat Pack. Okay. So so based off the three that you um, know, or do you did you know there's three? No, there's three. Okay. Based off the three, you know. Don't say the black guy. <laughs> KKK, cancel Cody King. Uh, Sammy Davis is the first one that came to mind. So. Oh, he said the black guy. Said the black <laughs> oh, man. Ooh. I don't know if I actually believe that. Tell, oh. Dante, but I hope Dante Powell ain't watching this. <laughs> He'll take that mic cord, wrap it around his neck. I don't know if I actually believe that, but that's the first one that came to mind. Okay. So. Uh, question six. Best clown, Bozo, Krusty, or Ronald McDonald? Ronald McDonald, he's killed the most people. That's true. Okay. More than John Wayne Gacy, right? <laughs> yeah. That was the blitz, fellas. Uh, question one. Is chili a soup? No, you said chili no. is motherfucking chili. <laughs> you said yes. There's no correct answer to this, actually. But if you were to put it on a menu somewhere, do you put it chili in its own category? Or do you put it on soup? They always put it in their own category. They always say it's soup of the day or chili. Chili's always on its okay. own. Okay. See, I always see soup of the day, and then sometimes it says chili under soup yeah. of the day. All right. So I see, but no point in that one. It okay. could go either way. It was more of a curiosity yeah. one. Am I going to be. Food you hate, but summer. everyone else loves. You said candy, sweet potatoes. Yep, and you said ranch, ranch. which is really not a food. That's a dressing. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. I yeah. was going to give you the point until he pointed that out. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> Will, you're killing me here. So, Cody, you lose that point because uh-huh. that's a dressing. That's so weird that you don't like ranch, though. I mean, I I've I've grown to not hate it. Thanks to Bebop's, yeah. it made you yeah. swallow it. I've yeah. add a gallon of it. You, did you throw that up too? No, but Cody threw up a gallon of milk when we did the hot wing challenge. Oh, you did. That's real. that's weird than the things you and, swallow. Milk and hot wing. Well, you're welcome. Yeah, yeah. Uh, question three. I asked this one because Tom Hanks actually named his three favorite mm. movies he's ever done, okay. and I'll tell you what those are. After uh, name Tom Hanks' three best movies, you guys both said Castaway and Forrest Gump. Yeah. And then you said Sully, and the other big. one you said was Big. Big's better than Sully. I probably I just couldn't agree with William Tom Tyler. Hanks said his three favorite movies he ever made. Was a league of their own? Oh God, yeah. Uh, Castaway kay. and Cloud Atlas, which I've never seen. Yeah, uh, I wa- that is a, yeah. you've watched yeah. like two or three times. I'm not a fan. He of He said movie. that's yeah. his three favorite movies he ever made. Cloud Atlas, I was super psyched about because the backstory and like how where it came from and all yeah, that. Yeah. But I'm league not, of their own, great movie. It's oh yeah, without a yeah, doubt, great movie. There's I don't no know if I'm top baseball. three. Yeah, no yeah. it's not baseball. top three for Tom Hanks. Yeah. I don't think, but okay. yeah, but I like Willie's answer was Cody. You're losing right now, man. Was anybody expecting worst different? member of the Rat Pack? Well, Cody, you said it's Sammy Davis, so you lost. Oh, you got you got a loss. Yeah, yeah. If wow. you agree, you agree with him there. <laughs> wow. You're in trouble. I mean, it was like I don't know. I'll pick the black Italian guy, no, the black Jewish guy the that hangs out the Italians. Yeah, I'll pick him. There's two races you've upset. <laughs> <laughs> now you've now you've lost yeah, our, yeah. our black audience and our Jewish audience, and then you lost your funding. Yeah, yeah we're out. <laughs> and last one, uh, best clown, Bozo. Cre- oh no, oh I'm, I skipped one. Sorry. Yeah. Well, we'll do the clown one. Bozo Crusty or Ronald McDonald. Crusty. Crusty. The Simpsons is yeah. the best cartoon show ever made. Yeah, you were talking South about South Park, Park earlier. Yeah. I I prefer The Simpsons. Well, okay. I haven't watched I've South Park's good though. South Park yeah. South Park's almost just trying to see how much they can offend you, which mm-hmm. I respect yeah. them for that. Yeah. Simpsons is a great show. What was the question you skipped? According to Urban Dictionary. Oh. No, oh, yeah, the arm barn. What is arm barn? You said bullpen. Uh, bullpen. Do you know what Urban Dictionary is? Yeah, I've heard of it. I've never seen it, but I, I'm just going by. I heard that they wanted to the change. Peter wanted to change Peter it because yeah. it was offensive to cows. Yeah. It's kind of a cool name, actually. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. Armbarn's a great name. Yeah. But that, I won't get. I won't tell Peter that. But that's yeah. a great name. Was Cody Peter. right? Uh, well, Cody was closer. He said, yeah. "Put your arm around a fat girl." Is yeah, the guy with no. armor. Okay. According to Urban Dictionary, Armbarn shoving one's fist up one's ass. <laughs> hey sailor, want to go home and armbarn me? Is the sentence it was used in? Wow. So it's fisting, basically. Yeah, but you know, I'm actually, I, you know what? I'm glad that I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know I, either. And if, I, and if I would have known that, I would, I'd be upset with myself. Every yeah. time it's my chance, my chance to do the, uh, the blitz, I always just Urban Dictionary, and I just find some random, yeah. gross thing. Boom. What is there a thing where you can look up just Urban Dictionary and it has yeah. all these? Let's go Urban Dictionary. Urban Dictionary. Yeah. I just click like Word of the Day and I just yeah. scroll, 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 and then okay. I think that was on page five. No, oh, all right. It's like Pornhub. Once you hit page five, you. <laughs> but it was kind of funny you said Armbarn because I've been hearing that yeah that that they want to change the bullpen to that, which I'm thinking this, they've gone too far. Well, okay. Point. The two things that annoy me the most are mm-hmm. Peta being 
saying cows are it's offensive to cows. So yeah. It's called bullpen. Which no. how do they know cows are offensive? Like you know, it's a, more offensive? Does, does a, is a bull really upset to be in a pen? I, I would think, think the bull so. would like. Usually in the pen, there's a, a there's they're a clown inside of a barrel that he can kill. And <laughs> yeah. yeah, they're fed well. Yeah, that's like saying they're dogs go afraid to having a house run around. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. What's and, the other? Uh, are you gonna say who, Demi Lovato? Yes, for saying that the term aliens offen- offensive to. Extraterrestrials. extraterrestrials. She really? Called, she said they should be called extraterrestrials because she thinks it's offensive toward aliens to call them aliens. It's, a, it's offensive to call well, them Well, you know what? If she can get one to come and actually tell me my her, themselves, <laughs> she, then I'll be okay. She might be one. Like, that, see, now that should be an SNL where she's actually talking about that, and then uh, Kate McKinney comes up with that, <laughs> the one that always gets molested by him. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever watch uh, – well, real quick. Mm-hmm. Will, you win the Blitz. Mm-hmm. Cody, yeah. you lose again. Shocker. Cody, you lose again. Uh, Do you watch SNL? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So my, you stay up late enough nowadays? I uh, tape it. D- okay. DVR. Yeah. Or maybe you might. No, I actually tape it. I have a yeah. VHS. <laughs> <laughs> I actually have to stay awake enough to push 13. it. Because I can't actually set it because it's always just blinking 12. Yeah. <laughs> but I set up my We just got to wait to hit it because the Notre Dame game exactly. probably ran late. And exactly. Like, oh, there you shit, go. Yeah. Well, late. you're a Notre Dame fan? Of course. Well, he's, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Who isn't? Yeah. You know America? I Anyways, Saturday Night Live, my favorite part of it. Yeah. Weekend update. Oh, yeah. With uh, Michael Che and Colin Joe. Yeah. I tell people all the time, I was like, you might not watch Saturday Live. Watch mm-hmm. Weekend Update. That's what my it's wife does. She zooms right to, we will watch it, but she <clears> will always zooms right to Weekend Update to watch that. Because they write the jokes for each other. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I know so that. Michael Che, who's black, and yeah. then Colin Yost, white guy, Michael Che writes jokes for Colin Yost, and he'll say the jokes, read them, and he'll, it'll be some racist ass shit oh, he'll yeah. read. <laughs> and it's funnier than shit. Because well, they don't care. There's like, this is jokes, it's funny, whatever. One, one yeah. of the main writers, I think he still is, is John Mulaney. Right? Yeah, yeah. And John so, Mulaney is yeah, so and funny. So uh, um, he used to write for Stefan. Remember Stefan, the one that? Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, Bill Hader. Yeah. Yeah. And if you watch it, the, what the, he would know some of it. But then Mulaney would put some stuff in there that he didn't. So yeah, that's when you would you see, see Hader. Yeah, he couldn't. Yeah. That was so funny. Yeah. Very well, funny like stuff. When, Willie, when uh, Jimmy Fallon used to do it. Far, no, Farley did the. Down by the river, and you yeah. see yeah. David Spade and oh, yeah. uh, Christina. What's yeah. name? So they're just like trying not to yeah. laugh. It's, it's, and that's what uh, I feel like Weekend Update's the best about because they just they have no clue what they're about to read. That's they, funny. They I didn't know they were doing that. Other. But yeah. you know what? If, if you want to go back in time where, where the, all that began, where, where people took chances like that, is the old Kara Burnett show with uh, oh, Harvey no. Corman, Tim Conway. I don't have, oh, God. Do you guys do yourself a favor and watch old Kara Burnett because Tim Conway. I know Tim Conway. Tim Conway. By far, still possibly one of the funniest improvisers to ever do it, okay. and and you can tell when he's when he's just coming off the cuff, because uh, you can just watch these guys just they can't they can't hold it together. Okay. I mean it's 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 uh, I would say it's uh, uh, um, you have to you have to if you if if you want to if you want to be a comedian if you want to know what comedy's all about, watch old Carol Burnett. Watch Tim Carol Burnett. Yeah. Okay. Actually, before yeah. before we run to a sponsor real quick, did you see so there. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw or not. Will Ferrell was supposed to be on Jimmy Fallon, uh-huh. and uh, Ryan Reynolds was supposed to be on Jimmy Kimmel. Yeah, and um, they swapped. Uh-huh. Jimmy Fallon announced Will Ferrell to come out, yeah. and Ryan Reynolds walked out. That's uh-huh. funny. And then Jimmy Kimmel announced Ryan Reynolds to come out, and Will Ferrell came out because they're supposed yeah. to be on oh, the yeah. same night. Yeah. And they swapped because Will Ferrell lives in L.A. and Ryan Reynolds was in New York. Exactly. Yeah. And so Ryan Reynolds was just like, yeah. Uh, Will had something going on, so I told him I'd fill in for him. And then on Jimmy yeah. Kimmel's show, Will's like, yeah, I don't know what's happening with Ryan Reynolds, but uh, I told him I'd come and yeah. just do his thing for him. So they interviewed them like they were the other person. That's funny. Oh, that's too and funny. it was that's hilarious. Funny. I've never seen you that know, before. I, I, that I tell you, uh, I was watching the other night, which I watched for I, probably the 30th time. Well, I watched Ted the other night. Oh, yeah. Fantastic. It's on HBO the, now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and uh, the scene where uh, uh, Patrick Warburger uh, – uh, Putty. Uh, oh yeah. Uh, uh, he, he, great. Remember, he 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 works at the car thing and he keeps getting beat up. <laughs> yeah. And and, and uh, Mark Wahlberg comes going. Are you in a gay fight club? Is it a gay? <laughs> so I don't know. And finally, he, they show up at Ted's house where the party's at, where, where Flash uh, Gordon's yeah, at. Flash Gordon, and he's yeah. Ryan Reynolds is holding his hand. <laughs> and if you just look at Ryan Reynolds' face, he's got this just insane look on his face while he's looking at Mark. Wahl- I, I mean, know, he's I not saying a word. Oh, yeah, he's just looking at so him, funny. and it's just. I mean, I just so randomly funny. watched Ted again about like, oh, three or four weeks ago because it was on HBO Max. It's one of those. Shows and I don't know if you guys. Everybody has a movie like that. That oh, yeah. no matter how much you'll just you've gone through it. All of a sudden you see it and you go, okay, I'm just gonna watch a minute of this. I'm just gonna watch, I'm gonna see just this one scene. I'm just gonna and next thing you know you watch the entire movie. Yep, yep. I do oh. that with Ted constantly. Yeah, Ted. I do that with Shawshank Redemption. No. Well, that's, we're talking about funny sad. movies. That is sad. Yeah, Cody's like oh, sad. <laughs> Willie, the saddest movie. Willie, Comedy. Hope. 
Hope is a good oh, thing. Maybe the best God. of things. Okay. <laughs> Come on. Cody, what's your favorite comedy movie? If it came on comedy movie, you just Favorite said comedy? Yeah. Um, like comedy, this movie comes on, you're just like... Oh, in, anytime... Guys, the, I'm busy. Anytime the other guys this. comes on, I'm like, hey, Oh, yeah. Guys. Love the other guys. <laughs> my, my love the other guys. F- and, uh, I think it's the funniest movie yeah. I've ever seen. My... I don't... Uh, when a movie starts off with aim for the bushes and they jump onto the, the street, yeah. there's nothing there. And they there. kill Sam Jackson and no, The yeah. Rock within the first 10 minutes of the movie. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so I mean, fantastic. I mean, so many... Michael Keaton was fantastic. In oh, oh yeah. Michael Keaton's great. He kept and, doing uh, TLC stuff. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> guys. Oh, yeah. such yeah. a good movie. Don't go chase some waterfalls. I ain't too proud to beg. Yeah. Uh, Willie, oh, go ahead. No, oh, I was just going to get into our sponsors. Oh, yeah, but go ahead. That. Yeah, let's talk about our sponsors, then we can come back for more. Uh, Bebop's, obviously, we talked to you about Bebop's. Yes, you love, love Bebop's. Bebop's. You love, love the sliders. Love the sliders. Yeah. Uh, have you tried the chicken sandwich yet? I have not. And, you know, and, I, and I, the thing is, like I said, I can't really taste anything, but I eat chicken sandwiches a lot of times because I, I, I can, the salt and the texture kind of, yeah. so I'm going to have to try it. D- is it spicy? Nope. Oh, okay. D- but they do, so they have Lolo's packets in the drive thru. Ah, you can, put on you it. can get it for free. Yeah. Okay. But uh, Bebop's does have a, Secret menu item coming out soon, or new menu item, I should no. say. They won't tell me what it is. Uh huh. It's a secret. We're thinking spicy chicken sandwich makes sense. Mm-hmm. Buffalo chicken sandwich, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but they yeah. haven't told. It's okay. like there's like, what do you think it is? Talk about. It. I'm like, yeah. all right, here we go. Okay. So, but um, yeah, I got also, try by my house. It's great. Either that or a vanilla shake. They don't have a vanilla shake. They only no, have chocolate. They don't have chocolate. I'll be damned. Yeah. So, but uh. So. Okay. It is that time of year, though, at Bebop's, though. It's getting cold out. You mm-hmm. can hit that soup part of the menu and get some chili. Ooh, we get mm-hmm. chili. Yeah, they're chili. Also, you're putting the soup with the chili now. <laughs> yeah. so we're going back to the, okay, all right. All right. I you see had, what you're doing. Their chili is fantastic. I yeah. actually get the chili. Yeah. I put it on chili dogs at home because I'm a degenerate. Yeah. But, um, we knew that. When we go back to the spicy, though, uh, they do have the Lola's packets there. Speaking of Lola's. Which one's spicy? This, this one. will be the hottest That's one. That's the hottest one. Sure. Lola's Family Reserve. It's their taste, hottest one. Like, see if you can shake it up. Give it a good shake. Yeah, moment. Okay, just do that. That works too. <laughs> yeah. So Willie, uh, for backstory, got a little zing to it. A little zing yep. to it. He got the uh, like he, it. he got the COVID uh, twenty months ago. <laughs> yeah, guess something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that was twenty months. So ago. So it's impressive that he could take that, and yeah, I take that or Cody takes that. We throw up on the stage yeah. instantly. Or I just but the good part is crying. the flavor is fantastic on it. Yeah. The flavor is good. Can you? Oh, you can't taste I can just, I can, I can taste the heat, the and heat. that's good. I like that. Yeah, the heat's good on it. I will use that. The flavor's fantastic. I'll yeah. say that because we did the hot wing challenge where mm-hmm. they had, they had some shit that was just hot for no reason. But yeah, there's no flavor to it, so it's yeah. like your just mouth's burning for no reason. Yeah. At least with this, your mouth. Where, where did you guys yeah. do the hot wing challenge? We did it at uh, the Coa Cantina. Coa. Oh, okay. Been there. I have to try that. Yeah, yeah. I give it a shot. Yeah. So we mm-hmm. picked up some wings, took them down there, and they gave us back patio. <laughs> yeah, it was cool. great. But uh, so Lola's. They're uh, they're on Good Morning America not too long ago. Oh. They're they're blowing up, man. They're at low stores everywhere. High they're Good mm. Morning America. Yeah, I saw Tafik talked about it. Um, check them out. Lola's Fine Hot Sauces dot com. <laughs> also, big thank you to the Funny Bone out here in uh, West Glen and West Des Moines for yeah. letting us do the show here tonight. Willie will actually be here the Thanksgiving and weekend. That's right. Thanksgiving John weekend. Bush. Yep. Yeah. John and, Bush, uh, Mark Van Harnen, and Jackie Boy Lewis. Jack yep. Lewis, yeah. Are available, well, Jack Lewis was the first person to bring me on a show. It's a good guy. So good good guy. love Jack. Funny Thank guy. you for that. There's a the Friday the 26th. You have one show, and then two on the 27th. Right. Correct. Seven and nine, nine thirty. I think so. Something yeah. like that. Yep. Yeah. So go on uh, funnybonedm.com. <coughs> get tickets. I believe that's the website. Yeah. Uh, Not just Google it. <coughs> I was either way. I just on there. Uh, it's uh, well. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Just Google Funny Bone Des Moines. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good tickets. Try really get the be website. Here. Also, they have, they have great shows. Oh, all, they have great shows all the time. Yeah. They just had Reno Collier here. It's very funny. They got uh, John Morgan coming. He'll be there this week. I don't know if this will be. They have yeah. previous guest, Pete Lee. Yeah. Pete Lee, yeah. Yeah. Great so check them out. Here's a quick word from our sponsors, and we'll be right back. Where's the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate shake? Viva. Big tasty burgers, hot crispy fries, and great chocolate shakes. So why do you come to Bebop's? The burgers are fresh and fast, and it tastes great. I like the pork fritters and chicken sandwiches. Where's the best place in Des Moines to get a burger, fries, and a chocolate shake? There's only one place we go. Bebop's. Bebop's. Better than good. Lola's Fine Hot Sauce. A generational family recipe using the world's hottest peppers for great flavor. They're vegan, non-GMO project verified, kosher, and all natural. Find them online at lolasfinehotsauce.com. Use promo code ASK8BALL for 10% off your purchase. I, uh, there's, I was driving down Fleur up towards uh, Ingersoll. Yeah, yeah. 
I was turning on Ingersoll, and I was yeah, sitting there. I was about to. I follow him on. Oh, okay. TikTok, yeah, yeah. TikTok. Nice. So I'm driving up Fleur, about to turn on Ingersoll before it turns the MLK there. Yeah. And there's a homeless guy standing there. And I'm like, it was a nice day. I had the windows yeah. down. I had like three bucks just sitting on my yeah. console. I'm like, I'm going to give this guy my three bucks, whatever. Cool. So I go to hand it out the window to him, and the light turns green. Yeah. And so I slowly start going. <laughs> yeah. And I thought he had the money. Oh. But he didn't. And I fucking dropped it. I'm like, oh, fuck. Yeah. But there's like 20 cars behind me because it's Fleur, and there's sure, always yeah. Yeah. cars. Yeah, that's one word. Yeah. Beach. So yeah. I start going a little bit, and then this homeless dude just runs out in traffic, and basically just Heisman stops the traffic to pick up the money. And I felt like a fucking asshole. I'm yeah. like, oh, I was just trying you know, to give this guy money. Now everyone's see, pissed yeah. at me. Probably, probably thinking you did it on purpose. Like, yeah, I'm chase like, this bitch. I uh-huh. saw so, uh, there, there was a homeless guy in Fort Dodge, and maybe he's still homeless. Well, it's Fort Dodge. He had yeah. a. He was sitting there with with the sign, blah blah blah, and I felt really bad, and I had an extra twenty bucks. So I gave him twenty bucks, and then I so he put that on the sign and go get in his truck. And drive away. Yeah. And, I'm, and he says, I need money for gas. I'm like, what? You know, maybe he just has enough just to get the gas station. But he, yeah. it wasn't a nice truck or anything, but I'm yeah. like, kind of like, man, did he take that? Did he lie? And then I, there was one right over in Westland on that when you're yeah. going to like my target there. There's a family of them. And I'm uh-huh. like, I'm going to go buy them McDonald's because I don't yeah. want to get yeah. some money. So I went and bought them a bunch, like 12 cheeseburgers, yeah. dollar burgers, or whatever. And I come back and the one little girl's just sitting there on her iPhone. I'm like, <laughs> I, I tell you, the funniest thing I saw the other day is I was at Merle Hay and Douglas. Where yeah. Merle Hay Mall's at? Yeah. There was a person at every single corner. Yeah. There's and a I'm person thinking, always on. But here's the first. thing that drives you nuts, though. You see that, and then all of a sudden you look over at the McDonald's, and it says hire, hiring $12 an hour. The, uh, the one now. over here is 15 now. Oh, yeah. whatever. I mean, and the thing is, but you know, I, I had a discussion with somebody about this, and they were saying, well, you know, you, you, maybe they don't have a place to even get ready. Maybe they don't. Uh, I'm, I'm like, there's got to be. There's places. Know, there's so there's a be. place in Des Moines called Dress for Success. Yeah. That helps. That will give women uh, yeah. clothes and help. Well, them what if they have that. a place to live? Yeah. No, I get that. Yeah. You want me, are we record? No. Oh. We on? Oh, I mean, no. Yeah. Just... No. So the place in Des Moines called Dress for Success. Yeah. They do that, and there's a place they're associated with them that does men's clothing. Yeah. So like they help them get ready for interviews yeah. and get them dressed and like, I mean all this stuff. It, it it it's insane to me that I mean like, you look at I mean I'm sorry but I mean it's nice that. Uh, Musk wants to go to the moon, and and Bezos wants to go. To, but I mean, they got money in their front pocket that they could take care of the homeless in Des Moines, Iowa. Oh, 100%. I mean, I don't, I don't know, I, I don't know what the number is, but there's a number that you could build something. I mean, you could put all these people so nobody has to sleep outside in this country. 100%. How anybody sleeping outside is just blows my mind. Yeah. So, kind of off topic, but uh, I don't know if you talk about this. I work for this no. charity where yeah. we, we uh, where you build the beds. I yeah. think that's fantastic. So we did. Um, we, we delivered last night. We delivered three beds. That's that's absolutely fantastic. And these kids were sleeping yeah. with their mom. They, had, they yeah. only had one, like just their mom. Their mom's yeah. working two jobs, trying to yeah. can't See, you know what? Bed, I, you know? I hate that you do that because now I actually got to look at you in a different light. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll change the subject so we forget I'll, about I'll, it. I'll, <laughs> tell you, I'll tell you what I think. If I ever had a, a bazillion dollars, what I'd do is I would take and I would combine them. I would build a big facility for homeless and right next to it put the ARL. And I would say, here's <clears> the deal. <throat> if you want to stay here, you can. But you have to take care of the animals here. Yeah. That way, you get, it gives them purpose. Yeah. I mean, a lot of yeah. people are homeless because they really have no, no reason to do anything. Yeah. So if you say, okay, here's your, here's your thing. I'm going to give you room and board and, and food. But every day, you go and feed the dogs, and you walk them, and you pick up after. Yeah. Now you've got a purpose, and well, you're taking care of uh, God's creatures. I, I agree. And yeah. I'll honestly give a quick shout-out to A. Hines 57. Mm-hmm. That's where I got my, pu- my puppy from. Yeah. Got yeah. him uh, back in April. He's eight, yeah. over eight months now. Yeah. But they, the lady that runs it or owns it, I don't know yeah. what it is, but she went down to Texas yeah. when they had the floods last year, whatever it was, oh, and rescued, rescued something it. like 244 dogs from Amazing. That, yeah. so. I'm, I'm a sucker for, for animals. I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I would say if, if there was a burning building with animals or people, I'd go get all the animals. Well, and like you said earlier, if, if yeah. your house is on fire, you know, third or fourth, you get Jenny and Claudia out of the dog. Cheeto and coconut. <laughs> also, uh, they make a great steak sauce. <laughs> they do. A. Yeah, Hines. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, big thanks to our sponsors. <laughs> None by steak sauce this time, but <laughs> Bebop's, uh, Lola's. Also, big thanks to Des Moines Funny Bone for having us tonight. Yeah. Yes. Check out Home the, of check Willie out the Farrell, website. the 26th and 27th if, of November. You know, November. people, anybody listening to this, if you've never been to the Funny Bone, then you haven't really lived in Des Moines. I mean, this is this is definitely... Uh, You're missing out. Yeah. This comedy, is especially in times like this, comedy yeah. is, a, is a huge thing. And I'm yeah. very happy that we're able to, to get back up and listen to people like you. Like, yeah. So. Before, we, uh, before we roll into the Kyle McClain Low Life Piece of Shit yeah. of the Week Award. Of course. Uh, Cody, who is the um, comedian we saw here? 
that were just like, oh my god, he's so fucked up, and we just left. The show. Uh, Chris Kattan. Chris Kattan. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was Chris Kattan. Mongo. Mongo. And we we probably come once a month, once yeah. every six weeks here to see a show. Yeah. And. That was the only time in my life I've ever. He been was like, he was he was all jacked I was up. Like, oh huh? my god, he's so fucked up. I was he, like, no. I just would talk about Mongo and then come back to Slayer, say the same thing about Mongo over and over. Again. Were, the, were the people in the crowd just like? Yeah, we, yeah. I've never left a show early except for that time. That's, where, that's uh, would you have a big crowd too? Yeah, I think it was sold out. Was, yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow, wow, that's and I was crazy. Like, oh, man. I mean, it's and crazy. it was the early show too. Oh wow, yeah. well, that's, well, and well, that's I, when I, I worked with the old Funny Bone. You know, I worked open for Kinnison. Yeah, and they brought him in, and the first show he was so fucked up he came in, inside, and he went into the, op- the office of the manager and threw up under his desk. Got out <laughs> on stage and uh, walked half the crowd. They gave him a bunch of coffee, straightened him up, and the second show he was he was Kennison. But we I came mean, and no. saw T.J. Miller. Yeah, he was by the end he, of the show he was fucking he smoked. Probably yeah. probably went an, over over an, almost an hour over. Yeah, but it just kept doing it, and he yeah. just kept drinking. It. Yeah, he, I, oh, it was it, so it, funny. It, Very it was funny. hilarious. But like the last fifteen minutes was kind of like all right. Got into his feelings a little bit. Rob Schneider's here on uh, yeah. December fifth. Yeah. yeah. But Willie's here on uh, November twenty sixth. There you go. Yeah, I I can't say I haven't been hammered on the stage a uh, time or two. Not, well. not like the times when you you and uh, Ed would sit in the car and drink scotch oh and Ed would go God. to the news. <laughs> well, we, we, when we got drunk on on stage at the old Funny Bone, me him and Ben Eulen, when we were doing, have you ever seen the, the video of that tape? I uh, have not. It, Where can okay, I find this that? This is in 1993. It's on Facebook. It was Ed Wilson, me and Ben. We were going to do the 12 Days of Christmas, uh, uh, but we called it the uh, the 12 Shots of Doers. It, it was like. We saw it on the first day of, of, New, of Christmas. My true love gave to me a shot of Dewar's whiskey, and then we take yeah. it. And then we did the twelve days, but it was all uh, <laughs> Iowa thing. We talked about the floods oh. and okay. <laughs> Jim Zobel and all the. Anyway, uh, so you got thirty six shots on stage, and they were all supposed to be uh, apple juice or uh, iced tea or something, just something to look like scotch. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I went back before the show and I said, "Hey, make a couple of them scotch." Just so you know, be like a Russian roulette. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and needless to say, Ben did the same thing and Ed did the same thing. So they're so all So out of the 36, <laughs> I would say 25 of them were scotch. scotch. <laughs> now, the thing about it was, if you watch at the end, me and Ben are throwing them over our shoulders. Seriously? But fucking Ed was a trooper. He hit every. <laughs> Ed drank. I, I think out of the twelve, Ed probably had eight or nine shots of scotch. Well, he's got that in, big head to in cool all two that. or three minutes. <laughs> now imagine that. So oh, I mean, it yeah, it, 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 but it, yeah, you can go find it. It's on it's on Facebook or even YouTube. I'll check it out. And it's the 12, 12 days of Christmas with Ed, Ben, Eulen, and me. So Ed yeah. Ed can handle it because he got that. What do you say, Saint Bernard head? Oh my <laughs> God! No, Ed. Yeah, Ed can handle. It. Ed Ed was Ron Burgundy before Ron Burgundy. That's yeah, awesome. They, uh, yeah, they modeled the bobblehead after him. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> yeah, trademarked. Uh, let's roll into the uh, Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. Of course. In a world of Kyles, only one stands out. It's the Kyle McLean Low Life Piece of Shit of the Week Award. Cody, you got any nominees? I got one nomination. I got week. two. If you don't have any, you can pick the winner. Huh? If you don't have any nominees for the uh, Low Life Piece I, of I, Shit. I, no, I don't. Then, yeah, it's fine. You can pick the winner. Okay. My uh, first one, Andy Dick. You guys what remember you, Andy oh, Dick? Oh, yeah. Yeah, Andy, yeah. Okay. Sex, of course. Andy Dick got into an argument with his boyfriend, hit him over the head with a liquor bottle. Mm-hmm. Uh, arrested, released, $50,000 bond. But this is the second time in two months he's uh, been arrested for domestic assault. The first time was two months ago when he hit his boyfriend in the face with a frying pan. Same boyfriend? Same boyfriend. Well, you know what I mean? Shame. You hit me for once with a frying pan, shame on me. <laughs> hit me twice with the liquor bottle, shame I, on you. I assume that there's some weird kink that they yeah, have. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> That'd be yeah. kind of think of. I actually got two nominees now. He's but, a dick. Uh, Andy Dick. I guess. <laughs> yeah, he, honestly, he, like... I never know, like he's kind of funny, but like, is he actually funny or is he just such a fucking? He's just odd, yeah, 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 yeah exactly. But he, I can see how he could, he could probably be a fucking asshole. No, I, yeah. Have you have you met him in person? No, oh, no. Okay. Uh, my first nominee is Texas University coach, football coach Jeff Banks. I'm not mad at him. The guy that was uh, motherfucking all the team. What's that? The guy that was yelling at the no, team. No, no, no. Oh. He's the one that. Uh, the, yeah, so the coach that yelled him on the bus or whatever. I thought that was great. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They needed that. This, yeah. No, th- th- yeah, I agree with that. This yeah. one, he. Uh, Cheated on his wife with a stripper. Can't get a new job and got an offer to yeah. wa- East Washington State or something like that. Yeah. Can't get it because of his monkey. He owns a pet monkey, and on Halloween, mm-hmm. the pet monkey attacked a trick or treater, bit it on the face, and then they had to forcibly remove the monkey from the kid's face. Wow, that's that's he's an idiot. I think that's hilarious. I can't believe none of us brought up Aaron Rodgers. 
Let's not do that. <laughs> He's a Packers fan. Well, we can, I got another Ooh. one. Well, is that your nomination this week? I would have to say so. Okay. I mean, come on. Uh, because he wasn't vaccinated or because of what he said? Because of what Mac he said. No, I don't care. But you know what? Uh, it, it, as far as I'm concerned, this is the great thing about the United States. If you don't want to get vaccinated, I don't care. Don't but you know what? Be up front. Yeah. Just don't lie. I mean, the, there were the four other quarterbacks that weren't vaccinated, but they did all the right stuff. I mean, he wasn't even following protocol. I mean, put the mask on. Do, do what you're supposed to do. Unless he's a moron. And I, I feel bad about Alan Lazar because I follow that kid. I like that kid. Yeah. I want him to do the right thing. But you know what? When your leader's not doing the right stuff, eh. So. My last one. Yeah. Aaron Rodgers is a great nominee. Yeah. My last one is uh, Henry Ruggs' lawyer. Henry Ruggs. The, how do you uh, defend that guy? <laughs> so, <laughs> well, how do you defend that guy? miles an hour. So he's this. claiming the uh, fire department didn't act fast enough to put the fire out on the other vehicle. He, he should never say the word fast in anything at all. He should not bring that word He said the fire department. He did, actually yeah. didn't say fast. Yeah. I, 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 Quickly. Yeah, Paralibbed or whatever, yeah. whatever it's called. He said they, uh, they acted slowly when putting the fire out. Yeah. And here, so here, they didn't act in 106 mile an hour. And here's yeah. the bad part. They killed that girl, which is bad. Killed, killed their dog. dog. Killed the dog, yep. too. So yeah. There you yeah. Go. My last nominee is our um, to Zachary Tobus. Okay, our, uh, our executive producer. Executive producer, yeah. No, why? Well, there's a a certain bar regular. I won't say his name. But he, we were, I was at the bar the other night, and he was... Oh, I know the story. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was talking about how he was looking for a new... Looking for a roommate, trying to get out of his out of his parents' house and trying to uh -huh. move, move out, he's whatever. A, he's a strange fella. Okay, so and like, yeah. Tobus goes, well, "Well, Cody's looking for a roommate. I have a two bedroom house yeah. or two bedroom apartment with uh, just me and my dog. So yeah, I, but I no. And so Tobus like, oh no, he he needs somebody to move in real, like right away. Yeah, I no, just kept pushing it. I'm like, he told me that story. Next time I talk to the guy, I'm so like, did, I'm did the guy know. did the guy ask? The I I told him I told him it's filled. <laughs> no. Does the guy listen to this? I don't know if he does or not. Probably not. If he does, um, it's, Cody it's still filled. has a vacancy. It's Phil. <laughs> nope. I'll I put, give you. I have his address. Yeah. I've got my bedroom. My dog's I can got tell the, you where yeah, he keeps bedroom. his spare key at. You can go in and look for there yourself. You go. Uh, so who's going to be the winner this week? Willie. What do you think is the winner? You get a pick. The win winner of what? Well, the Kyle well, McLean low life piece of shit. Oh, um, let me think. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> I had Andy, Andy Dick. You know what? His lawyer. I think Henry Ruggs is lawyer. You know, I got to be honest with you. It doesn't feel right if you ever win. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Fair enough, Willie. Cody fair did enough. win this last week, though. He was actually the low life piece of shit last week. <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Scott Scott Sipker picked uh, Cody King as the. Oh, Scott's been wrong so long. He thinks he's right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I, the Andy Dick thing because I Andy I, Dick. I, okay. Man, yeah. It, Andy. Because well, you know what? Because it's double entendre. Andy Dick is a dick. You know, it, was a, it got all the dicks together. <laughs> all the dicks and, together. And you threw the poor manager under the under the bridge there. The poor guy. He might need some place to live. You never know. You yeah. never know. You, you know what? And who knows? You know, you, you might find that uh, there's a whole other side of you, Cody, that you don't even know. <laughs> you know, I could see you, you could what? be like Patrick Warburger and Ted. Next thing I know, you're <laughs> holding hands. You got a black eye. You're into that gay rough sex that they uh, they talk about. That sounds like a Cody. There you it go. Sounds, is that like a new Urban Dictionary term? What's a Cody? Yep. What's a Cody? <laughs> Gay rough sex. <laughs> there you go. Um, so Cody told me before the show, yeah. and I didn't realize this, you were terrified of clowns. Uh, yeah, I hate them. I, 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 I've hated them my whole life. They're just, I don't understand why there even has to be them. So the, one of your friends, we talk about, this, talk about this, one of your friends sent you a clown. From Hertz it, Donuts. The It Clown with Hertz yeah. Donuts. Yeah. yeah. That video is hilarious. So, yeah. what is it about clowns that scares you? I, you know, I, it, it's nothing you can put your finger on. I mean, it just uh, they're just. Uh, what's the point? Why, why the, it, why the makeup? Why yeah, not? Why don't they talk? Why do they make I mean, noises and shit? It is why, creepy. They talk most time. Like that one doesn't, obviously, because yeah. he's. I just don't get. I mean, I, I don't know. I maybe it's something deeper. Maybe I, maybe I was molested by a really ugly <laughs> Italian lady <laughs> with bad makeup on or something. I, I don't know. I mean, it's just, uh, it, I just freaks. I, don't, I, th I don't think I'm. Uh, I don't think I'm in a minority. I think a lot of people don't like clowns. Did one of your like my, my uh, brother's terrified of them? Yeah. <laughs> I, yeah, I think. I mean, I grew up with Bozo. Does that Bozo terrify you? Yeah, you know, no Bozo. I mean, I, I here's the deal. Bozo was in the room. I, I, I'd be all right in the other side of the room. I ain't gonna go near him. <laughs> I'd be all right. I mean, uh, uh, Ronald That's McDonald's. Funny. All right, I'm not gonna stay. But then when they get they with them weird that it clown and shit, they're they're, they're all scary and uh, maybe the John Wayne Gacy thing. I don't know. Uh -huh. I mean. I mean, Krusty. I think I could hang with Krusty. I Krusty mean, I think I, yeah, yeah, yeah. That guy just likes He's got small yeah. feet. Yeah. yeah he likes but then when scotch. you think about it, most clowns, is they just don't they don't carry on good conversations. They never really. I think the clowns that will actually talk to me, I think I'd be okay with them. 
That, so. that you know, if, if if you have a clown, like, do you ever see the episode where uh, George Costanza with the clown? It's John Favreau who actually plays the clown. Oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's yep. smoking a cigarette. And he, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, and he didn't know who Bozo was. Remember, he kept on asking who Bozo was. <laughs> I don't know him. <laughs> yeah. Because Cody told me about your clown thing. Yeah, and us being a couple of Vegas comedians. Sure, you know? exactly. I hate you, Mitch. <laughs> Cody, what do you know about that? Yeah, I, I know that I hate you. I decided to Google some jokes about clowns, mm-hmm. and I just want to see how these clown jokes go over and see <laughs> no. if they some we can work into your act, Cody. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> the first joke. Uh, what do you call a frugal clown? Don't know. Pennywise. Well, okay. Okay. Huh? okay. Yeah. I like okay. that. Uh, next one. Uh, my wife uh, dated a clown before we started going out. I had some big shoes to fill. <laughs> okay. okay. Fair enough. Nope. Okay. Um, I bought a clown themed toilet. It was uh, just for shits and giggles. Okay. Okay. See? The internet, All they're right. letting us down right now. Yeah. Right? Here, let me give you one. Yep. What did uh, one cannibal say to the other cannibal? What? This clown tastes funny to you? <laughs> That's okay. a good one. Okay. <laughs> What do you get when you boil a clown? Hmm. Uh, laughing stock. Oh, I like oh, that okay. one. That's, okay. that's a little right. clever. I got two more. Uh, okay. Did you hear about the model that fucked the clown? Mm. It's pretty fucking funny. Pretty fucking okay. Get it? I yeah. got it. I just okay, uh, okay. Okay. And the last one. What do you call a really scary racist clown? Mm. A big it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. That one. You ended, you ended well. I, well, right. I had yeah, to. Okay. Yeah. I was yeah. like. Here's the thing. That's, that's not me. That's the internet. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. I can't steal the jokes. Yeah. I'm not Carlos Mencia. That's right. It's the internet. Exactly. All right. All right. Well, we've got just a couple minutes left. Yeah. Willie, mm. how's life been treating you since the last time you were on the show? Have you, has your fame gone up? Did uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> I mean, uh, I can't tell you how many people stopped me on the street. And <laughs> we, and saw you. <laughs> we saw you. We saw you. Ask, ask, can we ask you the eight ball? <laughs> uh, uh, life's, life's okay. I mean, uh, um I comedy's coming back, so I've, I've worked quite a bit. I was that went down to New Orleans. I was in uh, Phoenix. I was in Vegas again, so I, I'm working. And uh, I mean, as far as I uh, can't spell or taste anything yet, and I think I've, I think I've got what they call um, been reading about the long haul thing because I get um, I have fatigue, <coughs> and okay. I, I never really felt like I had fatigue for tor- before, but now, now it's like I, I can tell that you know there's a part of me that's just constantly tired, but. Uh, I'm 65. I'm still kicking it. And, so is that uh, called old know, age or? <laughs> my fuck. Who knows? I don't know. It's older my grandpa. My grandpa takes like nine naps a day. So <laughs> I say I take a nap. Every I day. never. You know, I never really <laughs> understood the nap, but now I kind of dig it. Okay. I kind of. Yeah. I yeah, But I have to time it right because I have to get up but before Jeopardy's on. Because I have to watch Jeopardy, who's and I can't host? watch the old Jeopardy because I get sad when I see Alex Trebek. Yeah, uh, who's the new host now? Is uh, it Ken Jennings? Yeah, no, Blossom? it's the chi- yeah, it's Blossom. My uh, or whatever. My, um, oh, the very, one that's on yeah. uh, Big Bang Theory. Yeah, I don't know. Exactly. I don't yeah. watch she's Big actually a doctor. She's very yeah. She's very smart. Mm. Yeah, she oh, does nice. a good job. Like Ken Jong from uh, Hangover. He's actually yeah. a doctor. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. true. Very true. That's interesting. Um, so how's life been treating you, Cody? Life's been busy. Life's yeah, been busy. Well, that's good. Been you're making all the beds. What you're doing, you know, that, that thing you're doing is, I, I hate to actually uh, blow your horn, but uh, <laughs> I think what you're doing is, is a wonderful thing. You, that's exactly why we're put on this earth is to help other people. And uh, so that. good for you. And Trying to get, we've, and you're getting we've, blown now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> we've got, uh, we just delivered our 441st bed last night. Very neat. In uh, mm-hmm. just under three years, and with one yeah. of those years being a pandemic. So I'm very happy, very proud of everybody. Thank yeah. you to everybody Willie, what are you that doing has helped morning? us. Uh, I, I'm going to be in Minneapolis, oh, like, no. I would, what, which I make a bed. Hey, you know, do, I could, you know what? I sleep a lot. Can you make me a couple extra beds I could put around the house? That way I don't have to, <laughs> yeah. I, I have to walk all the way upstairs. <laughs> it's, it's killing me. I could, I could use a bed in the hallway. Then you got to uh, make it when you get up though. Yeah, that's true. Do you make your bed every morning? Uh, you know, I do. Do you? Okay. Yes, I do. I'm uh, I'm a very uh, OCD. Okay. Uh, like if you look at my closet, I have the shirts all the uh, color coordinated. Okay. Yeah. Uh, shoe trees and all my shoes. I'm, I'm weird like that. I've, I've. You know. Only got one question for you. Yeah. Well, actually, two now. Yeah. So you you have your jumpsuits, your yeah. suits. Yeah, and my track suits. Track suits. Yeah. Jump suits. <laughs> what are they called? <laughs> yeah. So, well, uh, this is what we call them okay. for Dodge. So yeah. my my one question is: Everybody talks about, or well, not everybody, but like, a lot of comedians talk about having <coughs> that late night life, that yeah. you know, get off at two, whatever it yeah. is, kind of thing. Um, you know, I, the funny bone's done usually by <coughs> midnight, yeah. basically. Uh, and obviously, your wife's probably, I imagine she's early up in the morning. Sure, yeah. Oh, yeah, very so early. are you a night owl? Or? Um, my life has changed over the years. Uh, back when I was doing comedy, back when I was in my uh, 40s, I was, yeah, I was a guy that would uh, stay up till 3, 4 in the morning. Um, because usually the, cl- the clubs back then, you know, were, they'd go till midnight, 1 o'clock. But no, I'm, I, yeah, I'm, I'm asleep by, I, I go to bed about midnight and I get up about 5. 
Okay. Or, and then I nap during the day, but uh, I, I don't sleep. I mean, I've never slept more than four hours in a row anyway. I just I get feel that, yeah. I, I got me, uh, uh, I snore a lot, so if I want to sleep in bed, I have to wear a CPAP machine. Okay. Which I look like Bane. <laughs> yep, yep. Thing on my face. And, Pete, Pete uh, oh, Lee has the same thing he said. Yeah, it's, it's, and it's not work. Sometimes it doesn't work because the reason I snore is because I sleep with my mouth open. And with a CPAP, if you sleep with your mouth open, you, you'll fucking kill yourself. I mean, because the air just blows into your mouth. Yeah, okay. And you wake up in the middle of the night and your mouth is just drier than, oh, it's, yeah. It's not a good thing. Okay. But uh, that's why there's NyQuil. So, yeah. no. I love that. Do you like NyQuil? Uh, Holy I, shit. I don't, I don't take it because it gives me night terrors. I think, <laughs> what's in there? Heroin? Yeah, I, I, know, I wake up sweating thinking I just, I just yeah. fought five dudes and got <laughs> no. stabbed by all of them. My I don't know what the hell's God, happening. Yeah. NyQuil and a, a shot of scotch? Yeah. That's what that's what's on the that's what's on the menu tonight, buddy. So there you go. That's fair. Yeah. Well, well, I don't know if we had this last time you were on the show. Uh, you an, eight ball, an eight ball. Well, we didn't have well, this eight ball. Okay. Nice. You want to ask the eight ball question? Yeah. Uh, let me see what can I ask. Let me have a good question. Um, will I will I become even more famous than I am now? <laughs> will your show get more views than Claudia's? Oh, okay, that's a good one. What yeah. And I just shake it. Yeah. And it says, cannot predict now. Oh. Okay. okay well, I guess we're going to have to. Once you, give, once you give you false hope. What did I tell you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Most likely. Most likely. Perfect. All right. Fair, fair. Fair. All right. Yeah. Claudia, mm -hmm. you're going down. Mm -hmm. Claudia, once he passes you, I'll have Claudia back on the show. We yeah. were. Yeah. We, need, we still need to have him try to. Uh, go against Claudia in the batting. Yeah, th I just got oh, yeah. three balls in play out of a hundred. I think I can do yeah. that. No, it's five. Oh, now it's five. It, it was, was always four. five. Well, five, I, five's fine too. And I also understand that uh, my daughter, even though she's a lovely little sweet thing, she she would have no problem throwing right at your head. Oh, that's hey, fine. that's I mean, and do what it. I told her. I'll take my base. That's one. That's he, one. Yes. Yeah. That's his plan. If he gets yeah. to ninety five and doesn't yeah. have he's gonna step in front of five walks. Just, yeah, just gonna walk by the run. Good good strategy. I like And if, if that if that's what happens, yeah, I will pay up on our bet because I, I want to see him get hit five times in a row. Yeah. I, go, I refuse just to him, lose. Just, just hit him the first five yeah. times so we don't have to be you here. You think for I don't have a deal worked out with her where she gets half? That's fine with me. I don't care. Just to the world against Cody. Yeah. Basically. So who we like in football this week? Who 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 we are. Who do you follow? I'm a Packer fan. Yeah, and what about college? Uh, Iowa. What about you? Uh, college? I yeah. like uh, Iowa and Notre Dame. Yeah, okay, Notre mm -hmm. Dame and Iowa. Yeah. And what, what about pros? The Cowboys. Oh, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's I'm, I'm, I'm a Bears fan. My life's been over for so long. I How do you know. feel about Justin Fields? Um, you know, here's the problem. Certain teams are cursed and are always going to be cursed. Yeah. The Bears are – we'll, we'll have another 10, 11 great linebackers. They're good at that. They've never had a quarter. I mean, you th name one other team that's never had a quarterback. I mean, you had Jim McMahon. Oh, Jim McMahon. Jim McMahon was, I mean, he was, they he was okay. He they was Brad Johnson. Anybody. They had the sweetness 80s. behind him. I mean, that's, I mean, and that defense then was, and that defense was unbelievable. Yeah. But I mean, just they just don't. I don't know. I mean, I don't know what they what they can do to get a quarterback. I mean, I, just, I don't think Fields is bad. I think you need an offensive yeah, line. Yeah, my yeah. friends, my friends are Bears fans, and they're stoked about Fields. I'm just, yeah. like, you guys are getting way too excited, way too early. Yeah, man. exactly. You'll be better in the Packers next year when they lose Aaron Rodgers. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually surprised, college. You're not a Wake Forest fan. Uh, I, that you know, I, that's why I buy these hats because okay. they, they say Wake Forest. <laughs> this is actually I actually had this one. This one made for me though. Okay. Because I couldn't find a black and white Wake Forest hat. Okay. Uh, so this is actually a Willie Ferrell. Willie Ferrell hat. Yeah. One, Willie one of a kind. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. But yeah. I do have a bunch of Wake Forest hats because <laughs> I'm vain as shit. So. Uh, Willie, thanks for coming on, man. We always fun, it. guys. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. it. Great time. Yeah. Uh, again, November 26th, 27th, Willie Ferrell, Des Moines Funny Bone, West Des Moines Funny Bone. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Come on out. It's a good yeah. place. If you've never yeah. been here, you I'll be here at the Saturday, uh, the 7 p.m. show. I'll be here as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sit in the front row. Let Willie do some some comedy with you. Yeah. Let's yeah, have a conversation. A yeah. Or sit in the back and get drinks and laugh at everybody else. There you go. <laughs> that works too. Either one. It's a great time. Thanks for listening, guys. We'll see you next time. Thanks, guys.